I know, right? You're taking my keyboard? Yes, I am. Oh. Okay, you can have the keyboard. All right, we are live. We are live. And we have a great show for you today. Possibly, possibly the best one ever, if I do say so myself. We have some. I hate the echoes. All right. There you go. Here we go. Where was I? Oh, yes. Best show ever. Best show ever. With the best <laughs> guest ever. Where should I start? Uh, we have Megan from Megan Moves. Should Hello? we do a confession now or wait to the end of the show? What was that? Should we have confession time with Megan now or later? Oh, gosh. <laughs> no, let's wait. Let's okay, wait. We'll wait. <laughs> you might forget. Remember, you got to point the opposite direction of how you think. There you go. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right. We have Rowan from the Disney Damsels. In Hi. All pink, I, I love your all pink outfit tonight. Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Jesse from Miss Cherry's channel. Hey, guys. <laughs> and I actually really like your ears also. Oh, thank you. Is that a new one? I haven't seen that design. And she pretty much shows me all of them at some point. It was just a small shop. She got them with a Lily Pulitzer fabric, nice. and I got it in a mystery box. I think they're really fun. I call right. them my favorite okay. ears. All righty. Are y'all ready to get on with the show? Yeah. Let's do it. Well, I am going to take one pause for the calls real quick. If you are not subscribed, please go and hit that subscribe button for me and all of our guests tonight. We have great family-friendly content all across the board. So I just wanted to say that right here up front and go straight into. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I got a special drop for you. Ms. Oh, God. <laughs> You'll know when you hear it. Okay. <laughs> All right. For those who don't know what is about to happen, we are about to play a little game of keep rehab close. I'm going to give you three choices. I don't like this game. I know you don't. That's why I made it. Why you gotta be so mean? Oh, no. Because you said I'm mean when I do this. It is mean. Uh, but it's so fun for me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you three choices. You got to keep one as it is. You got to rehab one. So, you know, maybe change it up a little bit. And then shut it down. Close it. Never reopen ever again. Are y'all ready? <laughs> I think we're ready. Yeah. I'm going to start with a softball. Okay. All star music, sports, or movies. So we got to keep one, rehab one, and shut one down. Correct. Wait, what's this for again? The all stars. You got to keep one, rehab one, and shut one down. Well, yeah, get rid of get rid of the stars one. All stars. Which one? Get rid of it. The one with the sports. Oh, the sports. <laughs> so close sports. All right, I'm gonna say keep use, uh, movies because they just yeah. rehab movies, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it has the best outside decor already. Yeah, totally. I agree. Yeah, and get rid of sports. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And music needs to be rehabbed, like even outside, because they could do so much neater things with music than what they do. Right. Do they still have the Mighty Duck statues? Yeah, they have the Mighty Duck stuff at uh, sports. Then they got to keep sports. So you would keep sports? Well, they got the Mighty Duck stuff. Of course, you gotta keep the mighty ducks. <laughs> I'm just saying, I like the mighty ducks. <sighs> oh, you're outvoted today. <laughs> I knew I should have had another guy on the show. <laughs> <laughs> on my part. 
All righty. The next one. Ooh. Jungle Cruise. Mm. Haunted Mansion. Winnie the Pooh. Oh my God. I I've never been on Jungle Cruise, so I don't I don't have an opinion on that one. Mm. Okay, I have my list. All right, go ahead. Okay, we're going to get rid of Jungle Cruise. We'll rehab Winnie the Pooh and keep Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion is my favorite. <laughs> I think we're going to have a fight. <laughs> All right, we're already starting it off. Okay. Starting off well, I am now personally offended. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, gosh, <yeah. laughs> no, I agree. Keep Haunted Mansion, no question. Mm -hmm. um, Jungle Cruise, I would refurbish. I think that they could do a lot there where they could do some like crossovers with current movies, maybe like some, put in some Zootopia, put in some things that are going to come from like the new film that's coming out with The Rock. I can't wait for that movie. And I love that Haunted Mansion and Jungle Cruise are both like completely unique and don't aren't involved with any sort of Disney film. And although I love writing Winnie the Pooh, I would choose Pooh to go with. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'd have to agree with Cherry just because also um, you, you don't like Haunted Mansion, though. All right, but I have I like Winnie the Pooh, but I it, it, I it leaves a sour note in my mouth because it got rid of my favorite ride of my childhood. So, and every time I ride that, all I can think is Mr. Toad was so much yep. better. Oh. <laughs> so in 20 years, when we're still going to Disney World, I'm going to be stuck. You'll look every just like now, every time we ride that ride, you will hear me say something about Mr. Toad. So when Winnie the Pooh's gone and they put in, they bring back Mr. Toad. No, they're not bringing back Mr. Toad. I would love that. Like, I, I would kill for that. That ride had such a long line. They kept that stinking, scary Snow White ride and got nope, rid it's of closed it. It's close now, too. Yeah, but 20 years later. I don't think it's like 20 <laughs> I'm still sour. A little sour now. <laughs> I can't believe how many people's clothes are Winnie the Pooh, though. <laughs> hey, I'm keeping it. <laughs> I love Winnie the Pooh. He's. I mean, I would, that's a tough one. I don't know. Everyone, everyone's saying keep Haunted Mansion. Okay, Haunted Mansion is a fan favorite. We all we all agree. We all know that. I know Rowan's not going to get rid of Winnie the Pooh. I mean, no, I, I would keep that one. I think her I daughter would, would come after her. <laughs> Your childhood bedroom was Winnie the Pooh. I know. <laughs> So what are you, are you going to get rid of Jungle Cruise then? Um, yeah, but even though I'm not really a big Haunted Mansion fan, I still do enjoy the ride. So I wouldn't want to get rid of it. Maybe they can, we keep Haunted Mansion, maybe redo Winnie the Pooh and then get rid of Jungle Cruise. Hmm. Nope. Oh my gosh. Alexis from Beautiful Chaos said she would close the Haunted Mansion. Oh gosh. Oh goodness. I'm judging you, Alexa. <laughs> hey, somebody's not afraid to say it. As much That's as right. I love nothing Haunted wrong with that. <laughs> I will say it right here. Mark the time, mark the date. As much as I like Haunted Mansion, a little bit overrated. Nope, nope, nope. I could see that. Yeah, it's no, it good. is. It's just not yeah. great. Yeah, totally. It's just so much nostalgia with that ride. You know, mm -hmm. it's like. Yeah, I agree. There's yeah, a, that's the way I felt about Mr. Mr. Toad. Toad. <laughs> now, you, now you just have to go to Disneyland so you can ride Mr. Toad. But the Disney World one had the two sides. You no. could the barn of the house. Yeah, we're not saying the DL word because <laughs> it got our, our trip got canceled <laughs> and everything for that. And our crew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're not, we're, we're not going to mint that is that shall not be named. All righty. Let's see. Ooh, this would be interesting. I can't wait to the Carousel of Progress, uh, an American Adventure, the Hall of Presidents. Oh God! <laughs> well, you should close all of them except Carousel. 
Wow. <laughs> Wait, where's the Avenger one? That's at the the show at the American Pavilion in Epcot. Oh, okay, gotcha. I don't think I've seen that one, so I don't have any say on that. <laughs> okay, I have to get rid of the Hall of Presidents just because I'm even a history major, and that runs that shows more. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. I've heard that they it's better now. I've heard they like added more mm-hmm. history stuff and less talking. But I have not been on the Hall of Presidents since Bill Clinton was president. That's what. <laughs> oh, wow. I go there to nap. I go there to get out of the hot. Yeah, air <laughs> condition break. Yes. Yeah. So I would actually keep the American Adventure because they just redid all the music and all that in that ride. I would rehab Carousel of Progress because they got to fix that last scene. You don't like the 80s meets the 90s meets 2000? They either need to go present or future. Or I liked the suggestion someone made of going back to just one of the old scenes like a long time ago and every scene just be from the past. Like go back to the original scenes. Mm. One or the other. Yeah. Hmm. I like that idea. Mm-hmm. So I've never been on the Carousel of Progress. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no Jungle Cruise. Have you done any original? Oh, what are you doing, Disney? <laughs> <laughs> I take pictures. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> no Jungle Cruise. My no Jungle Cruise. <laughs> I bet next you're saying you've never been on Thunder Mountain Railroad. I, I honestly don't even know where the ride is. Where is it? I've never. It's, it's over by Space Mountain. It's like, Buzz Lightyear. Mm-hmm. You know where you get on the people mover? Yeah. If you turn face the other way, Carousel of Progress would be like right behind, right there. And it says it. It says like Carousel of Progress. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it has a big gear. There is a sign. Oh my god! I have that. never seen it. <laughs> you've taken you you've taken pictures with Buzz Lightyear. Like, I have. Up again, the building behind Buzz Lightyear is the Carousel of Progress. Oh! <laughs> okay. Somebody screenshot that last few seconds for me. Oh gosh! <laughs> oh my goodness! I gotta write down a list of all the rides I haven't been on, and then I have to get on them. Yes, <laughs> that you know that would be a great YouTube video. All the rides yeah. I've never done, I there do. Go. Oh my god, that's a good idea! I love that. I'm gonna do that. Oh, it's like I told Laura, I want to do a video one day where we do all the worst rank stuff at Disney. We stay at the worst hotel, eat at the worst restaurants, do the worst ranked rides. Oh my <laughs> gosh! I think that I'll sounds like fun. That. <laughs> I can copy. I don't mind. <laughs> Hey, there's a ride I haven't done at Disney before. What? The Triceratops. Oh. I've never done that. Oh, I love the, that ride. I've done that one. Or the, uh, uh, it's one of my faves. Uh, Aladdin carpet. Yes, the Aladdin carpets. Oh, yeah. I haven't done that one either. <laughs> I have literally done Aladdin carpets. Okay, so ride. you see, guys, I'm not the only one that hasn't done stuff. They're calling me a, hor- a, a horrible Disney fan. Okay, but those are like last minute add on rides that don't actually. Oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> And I don't do the carpets because I don't think they should be there. That used to be a big open area that you could like run around in and it was all open. And now Adventureland is crammed. And you know what? I'll give you a break on the Carousel of Progress because I worked and lived at Disney for over a year before I did it the first time. Oh, but wow. the Jungle Cruise? Yeah, I made him do the Carousel of Progress. I don't get the Jungle Cruise. That's that was like one of my first attractions. I don't know. Huh. Oh. Okay, what's the next one? Okay, next one. <laughs> um, I'll be this. Okay, Expedition Everest, oh, Rock and Roller Coaster, Mine Train. Oh, jeez. Oh no. There's oh, a reason no. I made the drop. Be so <laughs> <laughs> uh. Or should I do this drop? 
<laughs> okay, I think I, I think I figured it out. I think I would like to keep uh, it's Thunder Mountain, right? Yes. No. No. Yeah. Mind uh, train. Oh, oh yeah, keep mind, mind train. train. Keep mind train. And then rehab rock and roller coaster because I think that they could do a lot with that being a dark ride and a dark roller coaster because I do really enjoy. I get the Jonas ride. Brothers. What was that? I get the, the Jonas, Jonas Brothers. Brothers. That would be funny. No, what? no. There, there were rumors. <laughs> there were rumors. There were rumors. Wow. Years. That's where Disney was headed. Well, oh, wow. I mean, okay. I mean, the Jonas Brothers are fine, but I would not prefer them over Aerosmith, I don't think. No, no. I don't think they um, have the same, like... Longevity? Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I like not. the rumor better of it being Monsters, Inc. Oh. And, like, having mm -hmm. the doors and stuff that you go through. Like, that That was a rumor. Oh, oh I like that. That would be good. That would be good. Yeah. And you have that new car thing right there, mm -hmm. and right on the backside of Pixar Rock Rock and Roller Coaster mm -hmm. is actually Toy Story Land. Like they could even do could something where they all make connect. a little walkway to connect. Okay, I like that idea. I like that. But and then I get rid of Everest. Bye, Everest. Oh, I don't think I could get rid of Everest. Everest, oh, Everest. 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 Oh, the Yeti scares me every time. I don't like him. We're not friends. Well, good thing he's not the original Yeti because you'd really be. Oh, you the original Yeti is in Disneyland and it's terrifying. I hate it so much. The no, I'm talking about <laughs> Yeti on Everest when he actually used to swoop down. Oh, yeah. The I mean, that's, they have that on Matterhorn in Disneyland. It's very, I think it's the same animatronic. Terrifying. I want to do that ride. Terrifying. It's like if you need like your back cracked, it's like the perfect ride for you. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> so it's like Space Mountain is in Disney World. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like I hate Space Mountain because of that. I feel like I need to go to the chiropractor afterwards. Exactly. For That's me, exactly. this this is easy for me. Keep rock and roller coaster the way it is because it's perfect. Oh. I want to walk that way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Rehab. Rehab Expedition Everest. Okay. Make the Yeti. And then close Mine Train because I don't really care for it either. Wow. Huh. Okay. I'm, it's There's no secret. I am a large gentleman and those lap bars are not designed for large gentlemen. <sighs> I am in pain when I ride that ride. Fair enough. The last trip I went on, when we went on Mine Train, I learned that you could rock the cart back yeah. and forth as you go up. It is, it's changed that ride for me. I think it makes it so much more fun. That is, that is a really cool feature. I think, they yeah. should, I think they should go back and add that to Expedition Everest or something. Oh, gosh. oh that would be fun. Can you imagine? <laughs> no. <laughs> that would be awesome. No. <laughs> I didn't There's know that it could do that. That's so cool. It's so cool. It's so fun. What's your list? Who, me? Yeah, you're staying awful quiet up there. <laughs> I'm staying quiet because every list that you've given so far, there's one ride that I haven't done. <laughs> oh, which one is it on this one? I'm guessing Rocket. So first, so first of all, it's not my fault because my husband doesn't like roller coasters and I don't want to go on them by myself. Okay. So when I went when I go to Disney with him, we ge I generally don't do roller coasters because he doesn't want to go on them. So the last time that I was there with my friends, I attempted to go on rock and roller coaster with her with my friend, but as we were walking towards the roller coaster, it broke down. So I wasn't able to do it. Um, That's my luck with Everest and Test Track. It seems like every time I want to ride them, broke down. Oh yeah, test track is another one I haven't done because it keeps breaking down when I'm there. <laughs> we were in line designing the little car. Get out! It's broke down. Oh my gosh, that's sad. <laughs> last pass for that ride, the last three, three trips, trips, and we, we still haven't have. ridden it. We oh, that's lame. <laughs> yeah, so um, I would keep Everest because I loved Everest when I did it. I did it like three times and one day um i would probably rehab mine train and and get rid of rock and roller coaster because I, I again i don't i haven't been on it so i don't know okay well that was 
this week's episode. Did you give your list, Megan? I think mine were kind of the same. Well, I don't know. Maybe I think I'd get rid of Rock and Roller Coaster though, because I do really like Everest. And then I would keep, I would rehab Everest, and then I would keep. What is it? Mind Train. I really like Mind Train. Okay. Wait, someone said, sounds like you need a new husband. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I'm going to tell you said wow. that and see what he said. <laughs> no, I'm getting a little sassy tonight. Yeah. Oh, my. Man, the comment section. <laughs> don't tell them what I won't, I refuse to do, please. Why? Oh, I don't know. We might have to hear oh. it. Okay, fine. I don't like Tower of Terror. Oh my god, I love that ride. I don't like drops. So okay. we're about to be married for 10 years soon. And he's never ridden that ride. Yet. Oh my gosh. And that's like one of my all-time favorite rides. Oh dang. So I've only ridden it like twice since we've been married. So you're just like ride shaming me now. Oh, I am. <laughs> I don't blame you though. It is, it is, that is terrifying. You're kind of like just dropping. So I get it. I totally but he's get it. it before. He just won't ride it with me. Yeah. And the last time I wrote it, my, I was neck deep in some stranger's armpit. <laughs> <laughs> but see, this time I'd be there. Like literally, it was like, <laughs> don't know who the guy was. I apologized afterwards. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh boy! <laughs> Wait, was that the first time you were on it? No, that was the second time I was. See, on he it. wrote it twice. <laughs> okay, so you have no excuse. <laughs> You're supposed to be on my side. <laughs> His buddies can get him to ride it. To be fair, I, it was at work, and I was told that I'd get fired if I didn't ride it. So. They can't fire you for not riding. Well, I didn't know that at the time. That could be a video. <laughs> get him go on Tower of Terror. If if he goes, I'm gonna make sure to get it on video. Watch grown man wet his pants. <laughs> uh, I'd watch it. And scream like a little girl. <laughs> like a very, very tiny little girl. <laughs> Moving on. That was Why you gotta be so mean. I think that's been one of my favorite segments. I know because you keep adding to it. It's always fun, and I love the drop. All right, moving on you to are some T Swift fan. Old school. She's dropping her new album on midnight. Uh, I don't like her new stuff. Oh wow! Really? He doesn't know. <laughs> That's not an old old song. Would you rather? Okay. So, a nice little game of Would You Rather. Okay. And, and there's there might be one, a crossover one in this. The first okay. one: Would you rather be the villain or the sidekick in a Disney animated movie? Oh, no, oh, villain, hundred percent. I think villain. They always make the sidekicks look so dumb. Okay, but think about it. <laughs> What about 70 80 percent of the Disney animated movies? The villain does die in the end, yeah. That's right. I, I would be the sidekick. I don't want to die. Don't wanna die, I'd be a sidekick. <laughs> I mean, there's some pretty cool sidekicks out there. I want to be like Pascal. I was thinking, hey, hey, but you know, <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. <laughs> I think a villain you'd have so much more fun, you get to cause mischief and. You also get sidekicks. I was so gonna say, what if you were a sidekick? villain sidekick? Like, what if you're pain and panic? They got abused constantly in that movie. Yeah. I mean, look at what uh, LaFleu Le went through with Gaston. <laughs> yeah. Wait, are you saying we're the villain sidekick or the good sidekick? You would, well, to be fair, the question just says, would you rather be the villain or the sidekick? Yeah, oh, oh. sidekick. Oh well, then. Oh, that changes things. I don't. Mm, I I would be the villain, not the villain sidekick. I'd be a regular sidekick. Yeah, oh, I'd no. be hey hey. <laughs> <laughs> if you were know, technical, the genie was the sidekick of Aladdin. Mm -hmm. That's true. 
Okay, I thought you meant the, yeah, the villain sidekicks. I think they always seem kind of dumb. I wouldn't be the cool sidekick. I'd be the other one. Which, this actually does bring up a good question. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Were the dwarves a sidekick or all of her little animal friends? Um, I don't know. That's, that's a good question. They kind of rescue the day and kill the witch. They're a little more than a sidekick. Yeah, I but think the dwarves are probably main characters in that movie. Mm -hmm. Just saying. It's like in Cinderella. Wouldn't Gus Gus and what's his name? Yeah, they're like definitely sidekicks. What's the other one's name? Jacques. Jacques. Mm. I can never remember their names. <laughs> So is everybody going to be the villain? Yeah. I'm going to go sidekick. She's going sidekick. Megan? <laughs> villain. You would be the villain. I'm going to be. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. This one you're going to have to think about. Would you rather have... True. Would you rather... Have one perfect Disney day in the middle of your bad Disney vacation. Oh. Or every day of your Disney vacation be okay. Hmm. Every day be okay. I think it depends on how long the trip is. Uh, if it's I, only like a three-day trip. Five days. Let's okay. go with five days because that's why I wrote that. Because you got the perfect Disney day. You get the perfect dining reservation, the perfect spot for the fireworks. You get unlimited fast passes or something because of a computer glitch. Everything works your way. Oh, when, one day out of the whole. What if I'm in there for 10 days? And no, I get just one good question, day? The question's for five. If you're on a five day, you're okay. on a five day. You're on a five-day Disney trip. Would you rather have one perfect day in the middle or five okay days? Can I move my perfect day to the last day? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can you choose the best day? <laughs> can I, I think I would do the, just the okay days. I don't have to have like a fabulous day. Like it could be okay. So that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to get that, a bad taste or something. But wouldn't that ultimate perfect Disney day Make that trip good, no matter because you're at no. Disney. So how bad can it, so you don't get any fast passes? And you, you it depends on what you consider a bad day. I don't yeah. know. Your there's a big range of bad days at Disney. You have to wait an hour for every ride, minimum, even Small World. I will say no though. dining reservation. And they all break down every time you try to go. <laughs> rain. Mm -hmm. I, I don't though. know. You say rain. I've had some pretty good Disney days in the rain because it's. Dead. Yeah. Or like you get to the cheeseburger egg roll cart like the second that it closes, like that. Yeah. That would be a bad day. We just sold Ooh. the last one. Yeah. Okay. Unpopular Disney opinion. It's all the rage right now. Cheeseburger egg rolls? E. I'm judging you. <laughs> Eat your life together. I don't like mustard, and all I tasted was mustard. Well, if you like pickles and cheese, it was pretty good. Unless you hate mustard, and then all you taste is mustard. That's true. And well, I don't, I don't only it. taste mustard, though. I don't know when I eat that. I taste a cheeseburger. Yeah, there you go. With pickles and cheese. I taste onion and uh, mustard. Also, I like this. As someone who went to Disney a bunch as a kid. Oh, you're talking about you, not me. All okay. of the memories. That's not allowed, by the way. All of the memories, the fun memories that you have at Disney usually come from the bad days, not the good. True. Like you remember all the times like dealing with the Mickey police or going to the Mickey hospital or things <laughs> like that. Uh, what about being chased on a golf cart by the Mickey Popo? That's what I'm saying. Running over your True brother's story. foot. Yeah. Her family's been chased by the Disney police My multiple times. My sister being attacked by a duck. Like, that's the stuff you remember. Fair enough. That's true. <laughs> you don't enjoy it during the time, but you get a laugh out of it. Especially your sister being attacked by the duck. 
Yep. She still is afraid of birds. To this day. Oh. So, is everybody taking the okay days? Anybody want that one perfect Disney day? If you move it to the last day, I'll take it. Fine. You get to have it either any time <laughs> during the trip. You get the you get that one perfect day at any time during the trip. And we're, we're just, the other days are going to be short days, and that day is rope drop to fireworks, and we're hitting every park. <laughs> We've done that before. <laughs> Not recommended. Four parks in one day? Yeah, that's Not recommended. That's quite the day. The ultimate day, we got VIP. Oh, I'm totally. We're doing it like blackish style. When they went to Disney World, that's how we're doing it. Have y'all seen that episode? Mm -mm. They get uh, they get the VIP uh, guide yo, for the first wow. episode. We've been rewatching all the sitcoms go to Disney episodes, oh. and yeah, it's it's really funny. They get the VIP, so and they get all like snooty about it. Be like, don't look at me, <laughs> I'm VIP. As they're like walking down the uh, lines and everything. <laughs> <laughs> VIP treatment. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That is a dream. I one day want to do the VIP yeah. uh, treatment at Disney. I would really like to meet a bunch of Disney friends and like split it between like however yeah, many. I believe you're there. because you could afford like you could easily afford like a hundred bucks per person. Yeah, is that mm -hmm. right? Like that. Yeah, I think it's like yeah. uh, uh, what is it like a couple hundred dollars an hour, a minimum of I think four or five hours. And you're allowed up to 10 people or something? Yeah, you're allowed up to 10 people. Yeah. So, yeah, you get awesome. 10 people. You know, y'all can all chip in. Yeah, it makes it very yeah. affordable. Can I hear you YouTuber day? <laughs> yeah. That's the way, like, the fireworks are. They sound like a lot of money, but they're actually cheaper per person than the firework parties. Have any of y'all ever done, like, the firework cruise or anything? I really want to do that. That was on our list to do when we were supposed to go in November, but our trip got canceled. Uh, it is amazing. We did one with her. Her dad is a huge firework fan. Like that's mm -hmm. his favorite thing at all of Disney is to eat popcorn, watch people melt down and to watch and watch the fireworks. He can care less about the rides as long as he gets his fireworks and all the, and his popcorn. So for uh, what was it Father's Day or their anniversary or something? We booked a family firework cruise for them, and that was cruising around the Seven Seas Lagoon uh, on a pontoon boat. It's fun, and then they park you right in front of the Magic Kingdom, like where the ferry boats and everything come through, and you got like direct view straight down Main Street. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Side is, there's one downside. With the new fireworks shows, you can't see all the stuff on the castle. As well, yeah. But you can hear the music because they pipe it into the boat, and you can see the entire sky for the fireworks. So, oh, yeah, that's awesome. not a big thing. You don't see it quite as well. Yeah. But it was cheaper. It was like $400 for a 10-person pontoon. Yeah, it was a lot cheaper uh -huh. for us to do that than for all of us to do the firework party. Right. Mm -hmm. Which we did the firework party for her birthday. That's a lot. That's really fun too. If, especially if you want to see the projections on the castle and don't want to be in the mayhem of the hub area on mm -hmm. you know, Main Street. Because mm -hmm. let's be honest, that can get a little chaotic and crazy. Although mm -hmm. uh, there are no fireworks right now. So. Fair enough. There is that. <laughs> yeah. We don't know when they're coming back. <laughs> I'm hearing uh spring. That's what I'm hearing. Oh. Could be could be wrong information. It's just what I'm hearing. Yeah. All right, next question. And I gotta play this drop one more time. I gotta be so mean. We're done with that. <laughs> no, I just want the drop because this is a mean question. Oh good. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Two of our guests may hate me after this one. Oh, no. More? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Would you rather never be able to shop at Disney again? So when you're on your trip, you cannot shop at any of the shops or never be able to buy Disney merchandise from other places again. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> All right. When you, I have a loophole. No loopholes. It's either you can shop at Disney 
or you can't. You're talking about Disney World? Well, Disney World or Land. I'll give you both coast. What about Shop Disney? Uh, that was my loophole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's no right. Like every Disney store you cannot shop at. Okay. If it's Park. owned by uh -oh. Disney, I'll let you shop there. But Etsy, eBay, Amazon, Hallmark. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't no. shop at any of them. Target, I would rather, no I would, yeah, I would rather shop um, with the small shops like Etsy, eBay, Amazon than Disney. No offense to Disney, but I'm sorry. I've seen better merchandise from other shops than Disney itself. So, yeah, I agree with you, Ramon. Totally. Yeah. Most of my collection is not from directly from Disney. Yeah. Yeah, but think about it this way. If, when you go to Disney, you can't buy the pins. You can't buy the backpacks. You can't buy the ears. You can't buy anything that they sell in the gift shops. I'd be okay with that. Me I too, honestly. Like people could do it. They see you, what it is. You know, you it say better. that, but if you're, uh, I, I mean, I know I, one of the first things yeah. I do when I walk in the parks is go through the merchandise shops and look right. around. Yeah. You know, you say it now when you're not going to Disney, but I don't know when you're in the parks. I get you know, like all of my like lounge fly bags are like from lounge fly or from like some other shop that's not owned. So like I get all my Disney licensed products not from Disney, generally speaking. All right, you're getting some good questions in the comments. What? Character Warehouse is owned by Disney, right? Okay, but you got to know a cast member uh -oh. to get in there. No, yeah. not Kelsey Warehouse. Oh, you're anymore. talking about the place. I thought you were talking about so, the place. So is that one you couldn't shop at if you do Etsy then? And then like the boxes. Well, it's not Etsy. I'm saying, would that count as Disney or as the other one? Well, the character warehouse at the outlets is owned and operated by Disney. So yes, you could shop there if you pick the Disney side. But if you don't pick the Disney you side, cannot you can't shop, shop there. there. And what about all the boxes? You can't yeah, get all them. the boxes are independent to add at least something from the Disney stores or the outlets. But you're not buying them directly from Disney. So if you right. don't pick, so if you pick if you pick I'm only gonna shop at Disney, you can't get the boxes. Yeah, you can because the uh, Bippity has small shops. They do small shops. No, no, but if you get if you pick the Disney only side, the Disney park side, mm -hmm. you can't get the boxes. Oh, see, I would think oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. the boxes are Disney stuff. There's I'm loopholes. saying there's loopholes around. All of this stuff has been so melded together. I just don't think you could divide it. Unless Disney itself is getting the money, <laughs> you can't shop there if you pick that side. Oh, gosh. Because, like, box lunch. There's a lot of box lunches that Disney sells at Disney World that I could get from other websites. You're thinking way too much into this. <laughs> oh, please. You always think too much. Let her think. <laughs> <laughs> See, I come up with this evil question that I was I was expecting. You like know. Pandora and Alex and Ani, they sell Disney stuff on their websites. Yeah, right, they, right, they exactly. It's website. We'll find our way. Pick, but yeah. if you pick the Disney only, you can't go to their websites. You have to order it from Disney's website. Well, then I guess I'm not shopping at Disney. I'll go around and make an inventory while we're there, and then <laughs> yeah. I'll get online when we get home and buy, find everything. From somebody else. Mm -hmm. Or what if you get a personal shopper and they can buy you Disney? Megan, stuff? I'm, I'm out of mute. <laughs> All right, she's gone. Bye bye. Let her back. <laughs> oh, see, I'm around. the villain. I'm being the villain. <laughs> oh, see, right. we refuse to answer your question. <laughs> oh, you can't stop us from shopping. We will find a way. <laughs> That is true. I mean, technically, we really can't buy anything from the park since we live so far away. So we do have to do that. Like, we do have to buy from, like, other outlets and other ways. Yeah, and exactly. like, personal shoppers and stuff like that. And usually, if you add up how much I spend for a trip versus how much I buy on the trip, I usually spend a lot more for the trip Yeah, than same. during the trip. Yeah. Same. Same, yeah, same I know. Thing. Right now, we have an inkling of an idea of we may possibly, maybe go sometime soon. And how many t shirts and hair designs are you already up to that you want to make? Not for me. They're all for my sister. Right now. <laughs> oh, fair enough on that. I, th I still think you got to make like 10 pair of ears for like maybe a three day trip. 
<laughs> yes, she needs that many. <laughs> well, she, she's about to have to have a suitcase just for her ears. That, I have a suitcase just for lounge fly backpacks and ears every time. Yeah. Wait, where are you, where are you guys coming from? Or where do you guys live at? Alaska. Oh, really? Okay. Gotcha. Rwanda's in New York. New York, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, so y'all don't have the choice. We have the choice to either make a 12 to 13 hour drive or we can fly. Yeah. Depends on how much luggage we want to take. Mm. Well, I blame you. Because if you don't want me to pack that much, then don't buy me all the stuff. <laughs> Like the other day, you were asking me which bag I was going to take. Well, you, I mean, you oh. just bought me two bags. I can't not take one. That's not right. Oh. <laughs> well, you can take your lounge. Show the love to all of the bags you bought me. You can take the lounge fly or the other one. Mm -hmm. Or both. It's a three day trip. And then I'm well, you're driving, you can bring it all. Bags at home. Yeah, you got plenty of room in your car. We always fly southwest and oh, you, you get up. the carry on um, and you get two check bags. And then you always fit all your stuff in one carry on. So really I get four check bags. <laughs> oh, then you're good. That's awesome. That's great. I love it. To be fair, last trip I threatened to try to get all my luggage in just my backpack, and she was all for it. That way she could have two carry-ons and the check bags. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Do what you can. <laughs> it was my birthday trip. I knew I was going to buy a lot. You didn't actually buy as much as I thought you would. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Explains in 60 seconds. Oh, no. This <laughs> 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 be mean. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm setting a 60-second timer on my GoGo -Go Gadget watch. Okay. And for those who don't know what's going on, I'm giving Megan 60 seconds to explain a random, or maybe a not so random, topic of my choosing. Okay. Your topic today will be, I'll be nice to you. Okay. Dino Land USA. Okay. Oh, Dino Land USA. <laughs> Sorry, hit the wrong thing. Let me know when you're ready. Wait, you what, is that an animal kingdom? Yes. It's a land in Animal Kingdom. Okay. Is it the land that has the Jurassic, or not the Jurassic Park, the dinosaur ride? Yes, it does. Okay, so it's this land in Animal Kingdom, and it has a dinosaur ride from the movie Dinosaur. There's a, a dinosaur playground area. I haven't really been to this part of the park. There's And then there's a ride i can't remember what it's called but it's like the wild mouse ride yep and oh, there's girl. another ride did you say just say the triceratops yep, yep. We talked about it and then there was a fun fact that i heard the other day about the dinosaur ride that mcdonald's used to have a part in it they sponsored it and there's a little hidden thing in the dinosaur ride that has all of the ingredients for like ketchup or something in it. There's like yep. lines that go through the ride. On the pipes. What? On the pipes? Yes. Uh -huh, for ketchup and mustard and mayonnaise. Yes. What? The chemical equations uh, or whatever. That's or formulas. 60 seconds. Formulas. Oh, was that it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So basically just go look on YouTube what dinosaur or what dino land is. Yes. Uh, now uh, you're about to get a whole long spiel because Corey used to work there. So be ready. Oh, dang. Go. <laughs> Okay, you left out Chester and Hester, which okay. I won't take it personal, and their roadside carnival that they opened up after the Dino Institute moved in uh, when a young scientist discovered fossils at the Boneyard Playground uh, across from the Chester and Hester. Gotcha. Technically, Finding Nemo the Musical is part of Dino Land USA, which okay. is the best musical on Disney property. And That's because you used to work there. Doesn't make it less true. <laughs> And Dinosaur used to be called Countdown to Extinction before the Dinosaur yeah. movie. And when you're getting on the little uh, uh, Jeep cars, there are tubes running there. And there's a red, white, and yellow tube for ketchup, mayonnaise, and mustard. Because right around the corner where the... Uh, Pizza Fari. Not Pizza Fari. It, uh, uh, the 
Dinosaurus. The restaurant. The, the di- um, restaurant. Uh, yeah, restaurant. Used to there's, be a McDonald's. Yes. There's a little booth that would sell McDonald's French fries. Inside. That whole restaurant used to be McDonald's. Very true. Until the partnership kind of went a little south. But yeah, you did a great job. She did an amazing job. Good job, Megan. Most people don't know the whole backstory. He only knows that because he had to because he worked there. Yes. (laughs) They have a really good uh, photo spot in Dino Land 2 where you hold your arms up like right underneath the dinosaur and they put like a big dinosaur bone in your hand. I love that. Oh, is it a magic shot? Yeah. I love the magic shots. That's cool. And recently they've added the photo. Well, yeah. Pre, well, yeah. pre thing. Pre, when they had characters, they mm-hmm. added where you could get Scrooge McDuck and Launchpad yeah. right there. Oh, yeah. Cool. yeah. And Chip and Dale in their super cute dino outfit. Yep. I know, right? Oh, oh Sophie so has those. Sophie, Sophie bought those. She loved those. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I'm going to break down and buy the t shirt in the gift shop of Dinosaur, the unst- unstoppable one, where it's a T Rex with the little. Grab her arms and it's like, now I'm unstoppable. <laughs> she likes the other one that says, if you're happy and you know it, clap your. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sucker for cheesy t shirts. Are y'all ready to draft? Yep. I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's draft time. I'm guessing you're trying to say this draft's going to be larger than life. Absolutely. I got to work it <laughs> in somehow. That one works for you, Miss Cherry. Thank you. Don't let him fool you. He's a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. We've had okay. Street Boys before. I'm fine with it. Are they not on your Spotify list? Since you drove me to the. <laughs> I am outing you. <laughs> okay, so I still have some street credit left after this. <laughs> I never even heard a Backstreet Boy song until about a year ago. And then she drug me to a concert, and it was probably one at first sight. No, <laughs> it was probably one of the most fun concerts I've ever been to. But very fun. Oh yeah. We, we were in a basketball stadium, and there was probably – it was near sold out. So, it had like 20,000 screaming people in it. and Middle-aged I, women. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to – I'm – Like me? probably <laughs> only 5% men in attendance. Mm-hmm. And I did get bonus credits from the wife because I wasn't sitting there looking like I was miserable the whole time. No, you were uh, okay. <laughs> It's awesome. To be fair, the real <laughs> sh- the real show was some girls behind us who was wearing like six inch high heels in oh. the rafters. I, and they were all about nine butts pregnant. Oh, I, yeah. I was, I was so scared they were gonna fall. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Wow. They had a good time though. All right, we are drafting the best Disney merchandise shops. Yes, we are. Okay. Yeah. And those of you in the comments, bear with us because we might not have all the proper names for these places. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. So what's the draft order? I told you before. The I show. wrote it down somewhere. <laughs> I believe Megan has the first draft. Megan did have the first. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So. And then Rowan the second. Yep. Okay. All right. Megan, you got the one on one. All right. So I was going to choose, I was going to do a loophole and say shop Disney, but I figured that wasn't an option. And so, in the spirit of the, of the show, what in the, yes. So I'll go with my second option. Um, I'm going to go with World of Disney at Disney Springs. Mm-hmm. Get all your That was my 101. I was hoping it would fall to me. It was not mine. That's not my first. It's always too crowded for me. Mm-hmm. There's so much you can get there. You can get anything you want there. Yeah, yeah exactly. but they have all of the generic stuff that you can get mm-hmm. other places. I like the, the off the beaten path. 
Oh, okay. I'll be interested to hear those. Oh, just wait. We got some. <laughs> you guys have like, yeah, the behind the scenes ones. I'm still too new to know about them. <laughs> All righty. Okay. Where does the Disney damsels find all of their glorious merchandise at? <laughs> okay, so I'm actually going to go for something that's not as popular, and it's only because it has like a nostalgia thing for me. Um, every time I go to Disney, I, I usually do stay at the French Quarter, Port Orleans French Quarter, and I always love walking through their gift shop whenever I'm going to the park or coming back from the park. And it's called Jackson Square. So I put Jackson Square as number one for me. Okay. 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 I love that gift shop. I love it too. It's great. I've, I've never got to stay at French Quarter. Yeah. But I do have some really fun stories at Riverside. <laughs> at one point in time, I worked bus operations. And Riverside is always a lot of fun to work at because it's so busy. But okay, okay. So it's our pick now. It's uh, what are we going with? I don't know. What's our list? Because she took World of Disney and that was my pick. That wasn't my pick. <laughs> we can save that. Nobody's going to think of that. Um, we don't have a teammate. That one's pretty popular. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Which that one? might go pretty quick. Then do it. It's all yours. <laughs> We're going to go with a a more popular one because we think some of ours won't be picked later. Oh, uh -oh. Are, okay. are you conspiring against this with your cat? Yeah, we're conspiring. <laughs> she, she's a very big Disney fan. She looks like, the stage right. like evil geniuses. <laughs> he calls our dogs evil geniuses all the time. Yes. No, no, no. One's an evil true. genius and the other one is just a little sneaky. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a little sneaky. <laughs> An evil genius in training. Exactly. We'll get her the t-shirt. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go with Mitsukochi in Japan. Oh! I knew that was going to be on people's list. Uh -oh. it, makes, it makes my soul warm when I take somebody's pick. <laughs> gives me that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. So as a guest, I go last in this draft? Okay. Right, but you have to get your two back to back. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. All right, you got the turn. Next two picks are yours. Okay, Big Top Souvenirs is my number one choice. Um, I have something to say about this place. Love it. Has all the specialty merch for all the specialty. Um, Mickey's not so scary. Uh, very very Christmas party. But this gift shop also has a mini confectionery inside of it, so it's like a dual thing, right? You get treats and you get merch and fun fact they really generally speaking have all the merchandise that the emporium doesn't have so if you can't find something in the emporium it's probably going to be a big top yeah. okay. nice. yeah. the emporium tends to run out of it quicker yep so what's your second choice my second choice was mitsukoshi <laughs> yes <laughs> but i can't pick it now. Nope. Um, so my second choice is going to be the Discovery Trading Company in Animal Kingdom. So as you're going into Animal Kingdom, it's on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. And that is where you'll find all of your kitchenware merchandise. They have like the largest selection of Disney mugs on property, I think. Oh, wow. Uh, just out of curiosity, what's your next pick going to be? Uh, no. <laughs> we're, not, we're not going there. Um, but the other thing that I like about this place too is that it has a jewelry shop in it and it has a shop with like um, all different types of apparel and every kitchen item you could ever want. I love I love that gift shop so much. All right. So it's my Those are my first, well, those were kind of my first two. Uh, I'm gonna be better about Mr. Well. left. And if yeah. you can think of another one, that's fine. Well, I like yours, but we're saving it for four because ain't nobody gonna pick yet. Uh, let's go with. I'm torn between this one, this one, and this one. So this one, this one, and this one. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't know. I like all three. I don't think we can go wrong with any of them. Okay. Um, I gotta play the game here. What's gonna come back to me? What's not? 
Um, you know what? Let's go with the Frontier Trading Post. Magic Kingdom Frontier Land. It's got the best pins and all the property, in my opinion. Yeah. It's, the pins are sold out anywhere else. That's always where we're able to find them. Mm. Like, even more so than the actual place in yep. Disney Springs. So, the pin store in Magic Kingdom. Yep. Okay. Is it me now? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Wind Traders at Disney's Animals Animal Kingdom, which is the Avatar shop. And the reason why I chose it is because I adore Pandora. I love being in that area. And just like going through that shop just makes me really happy. So that's my second choice. You know what? I'm going to do you a favor. Yeah. I've never, I've never done Flight of Passage. Uh, <laughs> what? You were judging Rowan earlier? Yeah. Well, there's a reason. Uh, I'm never lucky enough to get a fast pass, and I don't want to wait two and a half or three hours for one attraction. It's you're missing out. Yeah. It's it's missing out. Wait, honestly, I would wait that long to go on it that. Was, ride. It is worth the wait because I think the ride is like 20, 25 minutes in itself. Uh, I'd rather go do Everest like five times in a row. No, 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 no. You it's make it changing. Yeah, it's a pretty amazing ride. I'll get it to it eventually. Yeah. All right, Megan, it's your turn. You're on the turn. Okay. Um, You're not allowed to take any more of my picks. Okay, I don't know that I... I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so I have another one. Oh, I'm trying to see my order now. I'm going to choose... I think it's called... Again, I should have looked up the names better, but it's at Disney Springs. I think it's, I think it's Disney style. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's the one with all the dresses, and it yeah. has like some kitchen stuff, but there's like dog stuff. So it has a little bit of everything. Yeah, that's the co-op. Which one's that's the Disney the style? Disney style is the one with the big castle light up the picture in the background that goes from day to night. Okay, I got on the west side. Okay, can I go? Uh, like, can I go with the co-op one? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one because I like all the dresses that are in there and yeah. the art that's in the back too. Yeah, yeah, that's at the co-op with the dress shop and the cherry yep. tree lane dress shop. Yep. Okay, sweet. That's my second choice. Okay. What's your third choice? Oh dang! And I get a third. Um. Okay, I'm gonna choose this one. Um, just because I think it's fun. I don't know that anybody else will choose it, but I like the Droid Depot. I think that's the name of it. Just because I really want one of those little BB-8s. I think they're so cute. And it's fun to just see the kids in there like making their own droids. So that's Ooh. my second, third choice. Have you made your own droid yet? I haven't, but I want to. <laughs> I don't know if I they're... Make a pink one. You what? I want to make a pink one. Do they have pink ones? Because honestly, that's what I'd make. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they do. Okay, that's, like, that's what I would do. <laughs> I'd make a little purple R two. Mm. I want to highlight everything, BB eight. <laughs> All right. So, World of that's Disney so co-op. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. Rewind, it's your turn. Oh, it's me? Oh. oh, I thought it was you guys. Okay. We can skip you. Oh, I was joking. Oh. I didn't do that. Uh-oh. <laughs> we lost her. Oh, no. Somebody, quick, tell me what her draft picks were. Yeah. <laughs> well, so far, she's done the Jackson Square French Quarter and Wind Traders at Avatar, Avatar Land. Animal Kingdom is getting a lot more love than I thought it would. Yeah. It's got good gift shops. I think a lot of people think of the ones at Magic Kingdom and they have, mm -hmm. they run out of stuff quicker. Like a lot of times if there was that one item that wasn't in your size mm -hmm. or they sold out, at, you can a lot of times get it at Magic at, uh, Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now that Mouse Gears is not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, um, but they got all the other shops at Epcot. 
Mm-hmm. Uh -oh. there's, there's a couple things I'm surprised it hasn't went off the board yet. Surprised there's not more hotel. Mm. Don't give me any ideas. <laughs> I'm not, I don't, I won't choose any of the hotel ones because I've never really stayed at Disney hotels either. So, but I need, I need to see some. All right. How long have you been at Disney for? I got my pass in January. Oh, yeah. oh so you ain't have much, uh, very long before. Everything happened. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Was that the first time at Disney? No, I had gone a few times when I was younger, but this is like my first time like going for a, a lot of times. <laughs> okay. But I would like to try, be, before you roast me about the restaurants, I do really want to try Be Our Guest. That's something I was really wanting to get to. I think well, it's open really now. really good. Yeah, I'd really like to do that. I think it'd be pretty cool. They don't do breakfast now. Oh. Yeah, they changed it. Mm -hmm. I, their breakfast was great. I love their breakfast. Basically, that was our hack. We would go eat breakfast yeah. there before the park opens and then mm -hmm. uh, run over to Mine Train yep. before the park opens and all the rope droppers get there. Yeah, and it's you're like, like having an extra fast pass. Yeah, you're yeah. like the second or third person in, on car every yep. time. Exactly. That, when they are open for breakfast, they start serving breakfast an hour before the park opens. Nice, yeah. So you can go get breakfast. And, and another place you can do that at is Garden Grill. Yes, at and, Epcot, and then go right on Soren. right next door to Soren. So it's like oh. a fast pass for Soren. Gotcha. The thing I like about Be Our Guest, too, is like when you go for breakfast, if you talk to a cast member, they'll let you come back, generally speaking, at the end of the night to meet Beast if you ask them very nicely. Oh, wow. Yeah. They'll get you a little paper pass that you can take with you and go back and meet the Beast later on. Oh, fun. Good to know. Mm -hmm. And if you're on the dining plan, I like I know people say it's expensive, but if you're on the dining plan, it's the same as eating, you know, at the quick service at your hotel. Mm hmm and we always split a meal there because they give you, um, what's it called? The pastries? Yeah, they give you pastries mm. and unlimited. <laughs> the pastries are unlimited. So. <laughs> there you go. And it's awesome. <laughs> All right. Uh, Rewind is having some technical issues and doesn't know if she'll be able to make it back or not. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. So I guess we'll just continue without her. All right. We'll let her go if she can get back on. Yeah. All right. It's our pick then, I then guess. It's our pick. Oh, goodness. I got to go back to our list. Uh, where were we? Uh, oh, we did this one. Yeah. Let's go back to Magic Kingdom again. Ye olde Christmas. Story. Ye old Christmas shop. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that the one at Disney Springs? Where's that one at? No, that's at Magic, Magic Kingdom. Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Ye oh, okay. shop. <laughs> we have very similar taste in shops. Oh. <laughs> that is, we always have to get some kind of Christmas ornament or something like that every time we go. So, mm -hmm. yeah. and we tend to, even though the one. And Disney Springs has a lot bigger footprint. Like, it's a bigger store physically. We find more stuff at Ye Olde Christmas Shop. Mm. Like, they like to sneak a lot of non-Christmas merch mm. into the Christmas shop at Disney Springs. That's where I got your Disney watch at. Mm -hmm. She got and my The last day of one of our last trips, I got her the Disney watch that has the changeable bands on it. Oh, nice. Nice. You know the ones I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And she's a school teacher. So she liked, you know, she's got the fall band. She's got the Christmas <laughs> band. She's got the Fourth of July band. She's just got the plain mini, uh, mini band. But That's awesome. it was just sitting there on the counter at the ye olde Christmas store. Yeah. Nice. Yep. They have a lot of good merchandise too for other seasons. Like if you go yeah. like in May, they might have things left over from like St. Patrick's Day and yeah. Easter and those sorts of holidays, which is kind of mm -hmm. cool too. So if you're ever looking for like the extra merchandise for holidays, that's where to get it. Gotcha. Did you make your next pick? Me? Yeah. Oh, I can. 
<laughs> uh, my next pick is Pin Traders in Epcot, the new Pin Traders at the Camera Center. Uh huh. Okay. It's a great place to get all the specialty pins for all of the festivals that they have. And oh. also, ask the uh, yeah. cast members at the register. They usually will have some extra, like, older annual pass holder pins if you missed other things. Mm -hmm. Except that it's usually really busy, but you can always go to front my right. pin, in Frontier. <laughs> and yeah. But you'd have to leave Epcot and go there. Yeah, but you're gonna be at Magic anyway. You gotta <laughs> and end every trip at Magic. I'm gonna remember you said that. <laughs> All right, you get two picks. What's your oh, next? You pick? Another pick? Okay. Yeah, you get one more. One yeah, more. One more. All right. Pick. Well, last pick. We stole our Christmas shop. Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna go with one that's a little bit different. I'm gonna go with the Main Street Confectionery. Ooh. And well, obviously, yummy treats, but it's got a really nice atmosphere and really good air conditioning. And there's also a really, really cute Instagram picture that you can take with a confectionery window mm. on the very edge of the building. And um, basically, you stand behind the window and it says confectionery on it. And, like, you can like eat a treat or whatever. It's super mm. fun to take a photo. And it's not like super popular, like photo wall place, you know? Yeah. And they usually have some really cool coffee cups in there too. They, yes, they do. They do. Why, wait, why am I helping? Nobody yeah. likes the confectionery. Why are so no, I appreciate <laughs> All righty. I don't even think we need your list for our fourth pick. Well, do you want to do that one? Because I don't think that one's going to be a vote getter. True. But it would be my pick. Well, but I do like this one. And I like this one, but we already did one of these. Yeah, we're not doing that one. Um, but yeah, I like this one and this one too. Megan, what's your next pick? Or this one. I mean, Wait, is it your turn? Yes, it is. <laughs> Can't All trick right. me. Oh, uh, just do that one. What this one? Yeah, do that one. Well, she said she's not going to do any hotels. You want to just do this one? Mm -mm. No. Um, I say this one, this one. I do like that. One. This one, or you the know one what we originally were saying. The one that I said for our final pick, and this is a tough one because I got like five more that I want. Mm. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go off the beaten trail, somewhere that you might not know about or think about. It's not a vote getter, but it's true to my heart. It's true to who I am. <laughs> I can't pronounce it to save my life. So I'm going with the Werther's Caramel Store in the Germany Pavilion at Epcot. Mm -hmm. The caramel. Caramel cushion. Yeah. We'll one. go with that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your trip to Epcot cannot be completed without some caramel popcorn. <sighs> It's so good. It is, I can't it even deny it. It's so good. And all the other stuff there. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. The caramel squares, the, oh, the short the like, shortbread with the, the shortbread. That's the yes, one. It's that so is, good. That's her favorite. Mm. So good. Yeah. You get stuck in your teeth, but it's worth it. Yeah. <laughs> well, see. It's so worth it, though. <laughs> well, see, that's when you're prepared. You, you bring those little uh, toothpick floss things with you oh, in your heart yeah. bag. You got that in your little medicine kit. That way you can just whip it out. You can floss your teeth. You can pick your teeth. You know, you're good to go. <laughs> there you go. I'm there adding you. that to my bag now. There you go. That's a great idea. But yep. We go listen to the Voices of Liberty, then go get some popcorn, and then go back and listen to the Voice of Liberty again. That's usually what we do. <laughs> or get the popcorn as we're leaving because it's already lunchtime. We're ready to go take a nap. Yep. There you go. We're not all day park people. Yeah. We'll hit the park hard in the morning, take mm -hmm. that midday siesta, and, mm -hmm. then go, and then go back that night for dinner and fireworks. <laughs> Same. Hmm. All, right. all right, Megan, it's your last pick. All right. I feel like all my choices were super general, so, or I guess, yeah, pretty general. But so we'll just end it with a, a general one. I'm going to go with the Emporium uh, in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. I like you can, like how you can. You can walk through the whole story. story. It's we a great area. We negotiated whether we were going to take that with our last pick or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
No, I like that one. You can walk right through it. Air conditioning. There's a bunch of stuff to see. I like it. The The biggest knock to it is they run out of merchandise mm -hmm. and it's very crowded pretty much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, I get that. Yeah. yeah. But overall, solid pick. Solid pick. Although mm -hmm. we end up buying a good amount of merch from there because we always go to Magic on the last day. So we catch ourselves like we couldn't decide on which mug we wanted, and we went to every store mm -hmm. and just kept thinking what mug, what, what mug. So we end up going to the confectionery and using our last few snack credits, mm -hmm. and then we go to the Emporium and finally buy our mugs. <laughs> right. awesome. That's every trip. I love it. <laughs> All righty. Now, we did have some honorable mentions. Yes, we did. Uh, Uptown mm -hmm. Jeweler at Magic Kingdom for yeah. all your all your bags was, and your... That was uh, on mine, too. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah. Uh, what about... Basin. The, yes, the, Basin's awesome. The German Christmas shop. The Germany Christmas yeah. shop. Oh, I'll have to go in there. Love that shop. And yeah. they always have ornaments that you can't buy anywhere else. Like, they have limited edition ornaments mm -hmm. for just that shop. Yeah. Uh, oh. Nobody said, for all y'all's talk earlier, nobody said Memento Mori's. I was going to say it. It's on, it. it. it's on my list. It's on mine, too. You have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my uh, honorable mention. <laughs> Bayview Gifts at the Contemporary. Oh. They mm -hmm. always have a lot of everything. Yeah. Is that the where you see from the monorail that you look yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And for us, the gift shops at Fort Wilderness. Oh, we love the Fort Wilderness <laughs> gift shop. They have such resort specific merch. Like they always have Chip and Dale mm -hmm. at a campfire mm -hmm. and they have, you know, Goofy mm -hmm. going camping and all that shirts. Like they have the neatest shirts. Yes. Yeah. The gift shop at the boardwalk was a good one too because they have a lot mm -hmm. of Boardwalk. Boardwalk specific merch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anybody have any? Ink and paint at Art of Animation. Yeah. That's they have that one. whole section of all sorts of like beautiful animated pictures of all the different characters and things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I would have had the art shop, which now is the pen store. But back when that was actually art at Epcot, that was my favorite like art shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been there so many times, and the artists actually be in there and sign your picture. Mm -hmm. But yeah. since they moved back to the American Pavilion, it doesn't have like half the art that it had yeah. before yeah. in it. And honestly, I'm a I'm a sucker for like the Pirates of the Caribbean merch shop. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, and the boutique Polynesian because we yes. always get a lot of neat stuff. From there too, <laughs> and the tiki peeking through. Yes, I love him. They always have cute stitch stuff too. They do. Well, that was just a couple honorable mentions. Some good ones. I'm sure we overlooked a couple. Leave them in the comments. Maybe. Yes. Yeah. If you have a story yeah. that we did not mention, because there's plenty. Oh yeah. Yep. Like mm -hmm. we didn't touch. Even, we didn't even scratch the surface, let's be honest. Yeah. Oh, that was another one that I forgot to write down. What? The 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 one that sells all the Pixar stuff at Hollywood Studio. Oh, yeah. Is it the Five and Dime? Which one oh, is it? Oh, yeah. That's a that's really good, good store. That's a good one, yeah. yeah. I want to say it's the Five and Dime. I could the be Five wrong. The Five and Dime sounds right. I'll be corrected in the comments. I always am. But, yeah, that is one of my favorite. Because I love all the Pixar merch. And there's a lot of Pixar merch that you would think you'd see other places that I don't ever see anywhere else. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I got our little Pixar ball. Oh, nice. <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere else, and I had to have one. Uh, I want the Edna lounge fly bag. I love they it. They always have all the cute ones. I want the Doug. Because I have so oh, much ones, cute. clothes and ears. I want the Doug one. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that was our draft. Uh, you can head over to our Facebook page at mm -hmm. Main Street Explorers on Facebook to vote for who you think the winner is. You know, it's us. Because who doesn't <laughs> love going to the caramel shop? <laughs> we got the caramel shop. That beats everything. Okay, she has the confectionery, though. If you're going to mm. go food. <laughs> yeah. True, but. And big top souvenirs. Uh, true. <laughs> 
Well, we got the EOD Christmas st store. Who doesn't love going there? The Christmas store is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. so, and I love the co-op. Oh, yeah. The co-op is good, too. Well, I'll get her the I think that's where we bought her collar at. It is, because they always mm -hmm. have all the cute dog stuff. So, yeah, but you can head over to our Facebook page. Uh, give us a follow and vote for your the winner of this week's draft. So, as we're wrapping up, Miss Cherry, what you got going on on your channel? Oh, uh, we got a lot going on. Um, I'm going to be finishing up my last Walt Disney World trip vlog uh, series coming up this upcoming week. I have a really exciting collaboration with a company that I love working with. We're doing a TikTok collaboration. Okay. So we're doing a YouTube slash TikTok slash everything collab, which is kind of different and fun. And it's DIY July. So a new DIY video is coming out tomorrow on my channel. And we're doing an Ursula crown uh, made of seashells and uh, different types of glass beads and things. It's a really fun one. How long did that take you? I made two of them. Um, they take several hours because you have to let the paint dry. So like it takes about two days to finish them, but they are beautiful. I can't wait to see that. Yeah, okay. that'll be sweet. I'll definitely have to check that one out. Yeah. yeah. Megan, what you got going on? Well, now that Disney's open, I finally can make some more Disney vlogs. So I'm headed back to Epcot this upcoming weekend. So definitely going to vlog my day and check out the Food and Wine Festival, which I've never been to because um, I believe it. that's going on right now. So It, is. it looks like they kind of combined what they had at Flower and Garden mm -hmm. and went ahead and started Food and Wine. And it looks like a combination of both. Yeah. I love so. Food and Wine, though. I know. Awesome. I've heard a lot about it, so I'm really excited to check it out. So I love all be of this. coming up. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited for it. Nice. Yeah, you kind of made me jealous the other day riding Rise of the Resistance. Yeah, I've kind of <laughs> I've walked out with uh, some of my Disney days now. Now's the time to go to the park. I mean, it's definitely less crowded, and if you go solo or with a group of people, you most likely get the ride to yourself, which is. Yeah, Pretty I saw cool. you yeah. riding everything by yourself. Yeah, which is a unique experience. You would never think that you'd ever be able to do that. So pretty pretty lucky to be able to, to go and check all that out. It's been pretty fun. Yeah, I can't wait to ride rides again. That's probably one of my favorite rides. I agree. That's it's awesome. super cool. Uh, what do we got going on, honey? Uh, we got, well, we're reposting our last Disney trip. Uh, since the what I'm dubbing as the incident happened. Mm -hmm. uh, so part two to our Magic Kingdom Day will be posted this weekend. Yes, come watch it. It's my birthday. It's fun. Yeah, <laughs> we do the hoop do review and mm -hmm. the firework party. It's a lot of fun. That's a good one. I liked that video. Well, I'm but good. I'll watch, it again. watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what else? We have some uh, lifestyle stuff coming up. Yes, we nice. do. Laura may actually hold me down and give me a haircut soon. Yes, I oh. am. You, there you, you go. Yeah, my barber still isn't open. Yeah, you need it. Of course, my <laughs> my barber's like an 80-year-old man, so I don't know if he'll ever open again. <laughs> but yeah, so we got some good stuff coming up. Yeah, uh, we're going to be continually trying to repost our old stuff to get that back up. For y'all to watch, and then we're gonna we got some new stuff. With some new stuff coming out as well. Yep. Disney right. and lifestyle. Yes. And then I on my channel. Yeah, she's got a teacher channel. Go ahead and plug it. On my teacher channel, pencils, pixie dust, and powder. I have. I think I have another haul coming because apparently I bought way too much stuff for my classroom. Um, <laughs> do during your COVID quarantine time, but shop. Um, and then all of my classroom setup videos. So I am finally getting to the point of doing all of the decor in my classroom. Yes. And I've been up there more than yes, once. He's going to make some appearances appearances in my videos. Nice. I, I oh, really? All the stuff in my room. She doesn't do heights. I don't do heights. That's fair. <laughs> If it's over arm's length, I'm Corey. Can you come hang this after work? <laughs> okay. Yep. 
Well, next week we will not be here with a live stream because it is our anniversary. So we have a mm. scheduled date night. But congratulations, you by the way, yeah. Happy you. anniversary. Yep, Thank we'll you. celebrate nine years uh, married. Yeah, I go do hibachi. We've done hibachi mm. every time, every night for our anniversary. Yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, very fun. And honestly, we didn't realize it till about four years in, and then we're like, we've done hibachi every year. <laughs> so now it it's feels like a tradition. tradition. Yeah. yeah, literally, like four years in, we're like, oh, I guess we got to keep this going. <laughs> we said that we'll finally do the hibachi at Disney if we ever go on our actual anniversary. Oh, yeah. there you go. It's yeah. great. Yeah. I've heard good things. But yeah, so we'll be back two weeks from the day with another live stream, but we will have a video posted next Thursday, like always. So tune in, hit that subscribe button for me, Laura's channel, and all of our guests. They are wonderful. And we will see y'all next time. Awesome. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.